Match. So here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs of the strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve will get better, and recently he has been back on the upswing in his career. How about the presence of Alistair Oval? As usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Australia, Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles, you'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, this is one of the most famous men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Joel Romero, one of the world's Olympic silver medalists able to knock out Jock Ray Sousa. This is a truly tremendous mixed martial artist since going up to 185 has truly found him. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. The Reaper Robert He has graced the octagon. It means we are ready to go with our main event of the evening. Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alistair Arim Overeem. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. There aren't a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Nice body kick there. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one like, over the course of my entire career. Oh! You heard him bad. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to this the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Throwing everything with fight ending intentions. Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. 
All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his head on his He hurt really bad. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. He's got to start to protect it. That's hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitton. Whitaker's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Yeah, that punch was blocked. <laughs> Left hook to the hook. All right, so able to get the hands going once again. He lands another punch. Nice work on the feet by the ring. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. Yeah. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Oh, beautiful technique. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. Overeem strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Lands with the lead right hand. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stage. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Just over three minutes to go. That's the biggest shot to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. 48 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Over. Well, and if you're scoring at home, connecting at an accuracy rate of just 31% here against Robert Whitton. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know. Thank you. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Oh,
Whitaker's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. This is big. That's big. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready. Third round underway. Well, this is crazy. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. by that head kick. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands. Oh, oh he got it again. Two minutes have gone work, by. Work, Back and forth we go. Looking to land the leg kick. Oh, that's the oh. Woo. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alistair the So Alistair Overeem just continues to find ways to get it done while entertaining the masses along the way. Huge win for the Reem tonight. And this is about as accurate a striker statistically as we've ever seen in the UFC. Picked his spots well again in this one, so another